Hello everyone and welcome to step five, which is the KTEC system or KTEC system that I use when integrating technology into schools. My name is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org. All right, let's get into it. So here it is, my little acronym that I use, KTEC, and this is what it stands for. You've got to know the skills, then you train the skills, then you embed the skills, and then of course you check the skills or KTEC. And that's what I use every day that I work with schools and work with teachers on getting 21st century skills into schools so that students and teachers can have them. So let's explain each one and we'll show you how it all works here. So the first one really is knowing the skills and that's what you're doing right now. And, and you gotta remember the KTEC system is in the uh, point of view of a tech integration specialist or building technology person or media tech specialist, whatever you might go by, but basically you're the go-to person in your school for bringing tech skills in. So this is from your perspective. This is not from a teacher's perspective. So the first thing you really got to do is you got to know the 21st century skills. You've got to be the expert in your building and in your school because no one else will be. So if we're talking about podcasting, like in this photo right here, you have got to have made podcasts. You've got to know about podcasts. You've got to be the one person who really understands this technology. All right, so that is knowing the skill. You've got to know the skills. And we're going to go through this workshop. And when you're done, you are going to know these skills. So it's going to be great. Now, next is you train the skills. So we work with teachers and we help the teachers to gain their 21st century skills and so that they're able to understand and use them every day. So we, we train them. And that training comes in a myriad of different ways. I will show you in the upcoming lessons the 30 steps that I use uh, to get teachers to have uh, tech skills, those type of things. But basically, I, I find any way I can. I, I model teach. I co-teach. I teach for them. Um, and they just watch for a couple of lessons. You know, whatever it takes so that they feel comfortable in gaining these skills. And then, of course, we sit down together and we work as a sometimes a grade level team, sometimes as a bunch of English teachers, whatever it might be, and we embed those skills into the curriculum. And it gets to be so ingrained, I guess, in everything that we do that it starts to embed itself into every lesson almost. Every teacher's thinking, okay, how can I add some collaboration in this lesson? How can I make this more creative? Those type of things. And they really start to bring all those digital artifacts out of the students, and it's fantastic. And then, of course, the C part of the KTEC system is check the skills. This is the assessment side of it. You've got to go and take a look at what the students are producing and know what they have. So, so if they're producing blogs, then you know that they've been blogging and they've been working on all those skills. So you've got to really go look for the artifacts, and that's checking the skills, because then you know that they've actually embedded them and they're working. So that's the C part. Now... I want you to think back to the first couple of steps that we've done together. And remember what we said about students? And that is, we know that students have 21st century skills by the digital artifacts they produce. So we, we, we went around about that. We watched the little video of the sixth graders did about um, helping out the family in China. They were able to raise money and to buy um, a water buffalo there. So, I mean, it's just amazing things. And we were able to know that they had the skills because we could see it in the digital artifacts that they were producing. But now that can also apply to teachers. All right. We know that teachers have 21st century skills by the digital artifacts they produce. So following my KTEC system, that is how I get teachers to also have the skills. And it's not like we sit down and you know talk about each one, one by one. Really, we talk about the digital products going, well, shouldn't we do this? And shouldn't we do that? And by the time they're done, they have these wonderful skills. So let's play another game. So we used to do this with the student project, but let's play it with the teacher project. And this is an enhanced podcast. So it's mostly you listen to it, but the little photo in the middle will change um, from time to time. And here on the side are the five uh, net standards or the national education technology standards for teachers. And then here's all the things that this teacher is talking about doing with her students. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Welcome, Nika students, to my first podcast. Mr. Smith, our principal, has issued a challenge to all the teachers in the school. And you know how I love a challenge, so I'm going to pass it on to you. First of all, we have a lot of work to do to get ready for our trip to Nicaragua in November. 
and I want to congratulate all of you for your great work. We had a huge success with our Battle of the Bands. We raised almost $3,000, so we are well on our way to being able to go to Nicaragua. All right, students, the first thing I need you to do is go to our classroom name. You've been there many times, and at the top, you're going to see a new link. That new link is going to take you directly to our Twitter, my Twitter account. I need you to subscribe to that because if there are changes that are going on that all summer long, that's how I'm going to stay in contact with you. All right, blue, green, orange team, listen up. Blue team, I need you to start collaborating and working together using your Google Docs account. Remember, that's under the Google folder. And I need you to be talking amongst yourselves and collaborating on some working documents about how we could contact some business officials in Nicaragua about getting laptop donated so that we can use those while we are in Nicaragua. Green Group, you're going to be collaborating using your Google Docs account about Jane and how we will be able to, when we're in San Juan del Sur, support the local fundraiser. And finally, the Orange Group, you need to be working together and creating some emails within the Google Docs account that we will email out to the local businesses here and talk to businesses about donating their used laptops so that we can bring uh, um, those laptops down to us um, to Nicaragua. All right, teams, just a reminder on how to collaborate. The team leader's role and responsibility is to create a new document and to invite, invite all the other um, members within that team and at me as well so we can all work together on that document. If you need a reminder on all of these instructions, don't forget that they are in our Ning under the Google folder. And if you need any photos to jazz up your documents that you're going to be working on, don't forget we have pictures from the Nicaragua 08 trip, and that is within the photos folder. Your last summer project will be to finish the three cups of tea book that you all received before school let out. What you'll need to do is at the end of each chapter, choose one of the four questions that are posted. And I want you to either, one, record a video reply with your phones and upload it to the ding. Or if you'd prefer to write your answer, you can do so within the Three Cups of Tea wiki within our classroom ring. Don't forget, students, that the August 1st deadline is looming and we are going to meet and beat Mr. Smith's tech challenge for teachers that he's issued to me. We can do it, guys. Let's get it done and get ready for our travels in November. All right. How do you like that? I mean, this is our first podcast. I mean, sure, there's a couple of words mispronounced and things, but, but look, at she did it. And look at the incredible things that she's modeling to her students and that she was able to learn just by sitting down and working with a tech integration specialist. You know, they worked with the how to do Twitter and how to set up Google Docs and the photos and the Nings and all those things. And a lot of this she was able just to learn on her own that, uh, you know, of course, because we use uh, things like atomic learning or any type of online learning like that. And so she was kind of able to follow at her own pace, got it set up. Now, her principal did give her a challenge saying, you know, you needed to have this done by a certain day. But it's amazing how great it is that this teacher is able to do these things. And imagine being a student in her class. I mean, how fun it is that, that your teacher's Twittering uh, or tweeting to you and that, that you can go to the classroom Ning and you can actually give your responses to some of these questions in, from the three cups of tea by just being able to use your video phone and then sending in your answers that way. This is what we're talking about. So over the next few steps, we're going to be building this and building this and showing you how to do it. So please go down to the action guide. Let's get to work. My 10 minutes is almost up on this video. So I'll see you down in the action guide.